Hi. Me, me, me again. <laughs> okay, so, you know, we went to church last night and honestly, I was just exhausted. Just too tired to tape and let you guys know what church was about. So, I'm going to give you that synopsis today. <laughs> Okay, so uh, church was about, and I have to get my note, it was about end time pressures, listening and preparing. And that was a hot one. It was. And in order to bring this point across, Pastor Allen used two examples. He used Noah and the ark, and he used Sodom and Gomorrah, right? In the way he used Noah and the ark, we know that Noah preached for years. Yeah, he preached for a lot of years. Not just a little, crazy years. But he didn't only preach, he was building this ginormous, I think it was bigger than that, enormous, gigantic, oversized ark while preaching to the people to say, please repent of your sins, you know, choose God, right? And he was saying, right, until, un, right up until the doors of the ark were shut, people were living like Noah didn't even preach. He wasn't even building that ark. They were living their life, eating, drinking, just going about their day. Not believing what he said, but then the end came, right? Yeah, he also used Sodom and Gomorrah. Now, there, you know, the people were eating and drinking and just living their lives. They weren't listening to um, the prophet saying, repent, change your way, no. You know, God said he would have spared Sodom if they could have found, I think it was, they came down to six. No, don't come for me, those Bible people, if I'm not <laughs> saying the right number. I think it came down to six people. If you could find six people, he would spare the city and couldn't even find that. I think it's six. Anyway, but he was saying that they were living their life until... The end time came. Do you see a pattern here? Do you? Hmm. So what do you think he is saying is going to happen in the last days? Do you think people are going to be eating, drinking, living, just going about their life? Not taking heed or listening to the one saying, the end time is coming, Christ is coming, change your way, repent of your sins, accept the Lord? Do you think they're going to see, you know, are they aware? No, they're living just like in the days of Noah and in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. And in both cases, the end time came for them. Same way the end time is going to come for us. So take heed. I am taking heed. We need to repent of our sins and accept Jesus before our time runs out.